Okay, I hope this is focused on me. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So um, on today's video, I want to talk a little bit about merchandise. Now for the first part of my CP, I was actually positioned in merchandise. I was located at the Emporium. So what I'm going to be talking about is like where you can work, trading shifts, what you'll be doing, and just all the little, you know, details about merchandise. Alright, so first thing, um, I worked at the Emporium, which is one of the biggest stores and one of the busiest stores on Disney property. Um, I was located on Main Street USA in Magic Kingdom. Um, costume wise, I'll actually insert a picture. Um, I had a plaid skirt, white button up shirt, and then a little um, tie ascot thing. I don't, I don't know what they're called. But um, it was not the best costume ever, but because the skirt, it, the skirt was just my biggest issue um, because it was like hard to bend down and stuff without stepping on it when you come back up, but it was whatever, you know, but um, working at um, the Emporium was a really great experience for me. Now, I'd already had two years experience of working in merchandise prior to coming to Disney, so I was a little... Um, I was a little, what's the word, used to it, I guess you could say. Um, however, I was not used to the fast-paced steadiness of it. Um, where I'm from, it's a small town, so we're not really always that busy. Now, um, what I did, I was either, here's one thing you need to know, if you ever work at the Emporium, you can have these three different positions. Um, you can be on register, you can stock, you can get sent to baby care, also you can merchantain. Um, so let's go with register. Register um, is just, so you'll either get scheduled for just regular like Emporium or Emporium stock. Now if you're just regular Emporium, what you're going to do is um, you'll get your assignment so you'll either be sent to register where um, it'll tell you where you need to be and what location of the register you need to, you know. So there you'll just um, ring up guests, help guests with questions if they need questions answered, um, you know, just regular stuff. Also, um, you can, like if a guest is like, excuse me miss, where is the goofy plush? You'll just be like, oh, it's over there. Or, if you have time, walk with them and show it to them, whatever. Um, if you are also just very, you know, not stocking in that day, if you get an assignment, you can be sent to baby care. Now, what is baby care? Baby care is actually located in every single park. Um, for us, it is right beside First Aid and right beside the Emporium, Casey's Corner, in that little area back there. Um, Baby care is not daycare. Parents do not just drop off their child regardless of what they may think. That is not a daycare. In, in baby care, you have changing tables for parents to come in and change their toddlers. Um, you have like a little bathroom for just women and children only. Um, you have a nursing room where um, women can come and breastfeed their children if they want to be in um, the nursing room. Excuse me. Um, Let's see, there's a TV area with um, chairs, high chairs, and then a little table for kids to color on if they want to color. And then you also have the room where you'll mostly be spending your time, which has a register and stuff for sale, like um, baby wipes, diapers, just stuff like feminine products like um, tampons and stuff like that. Um, sippy cups, bottles, formula, medicine, deodorant, just necessity kind of stuff like that. So um, what you'll do is you'll just ring this stuff up. Also, um, you have to wipe down the changing stations. And what else is there? You have to wipe down the changing stations, wipe down the high chairs and the tables. Now quick little story okay this lady had a little child who 
had explosive diarrhea and she it was all over the child all over the mother god love her bless her heart so she was changing and this poo got all over the changing table and I had to clean it up. You do get gloves and you have these wipes, but it's still not a fun experience. Now, not every day it's going to be like that, but there are days where you will have to clean up poo off of the changing tables and it is not fun. It is disgusting, actually. Um, also, baby care is where you deal with lost children. That is where lost children are sent. Um, so you will be dealing with, believe it or not, there are children who get lost every day at Magic Kingdom, at all the parks actually. And it's just, oh my stomach growl. Um, I actually love dealing with lost children. It gave me life. If I was ever sent to baby care, which I hated baby care with a passion, but if I was ever sent to baby care, I lived for lost children because it gave me it, it gave me something else to do, and I got to actually like kind of have that one-on-one -on -one time with the child and try to help them. And I felt like a detective, like, how old are you? What's your parents' names? Do you have their contact information? Which, of course, you do have to call security and inform security that hey, you do have this child. But. Um, I lived for it. It made me feel like a freaking detective is what it did. And I loved it. But you will be dealing with lost children. Now, I don't think every like every baby care is gonna have a merchandise person with them because guest relations used to run baby care, but for some reason it got handed over to them for him. Don't know why. Don't really care. Because I don't work there anymore. So it's fine. But um so if you are ever working at the emporium, you will be also in charge of baby care as well. Now some people actually really liked baby care so don't let my, um, my story scare you because when there are no guests in there you are basically watching TV because you get to put movies on there. Um, they have several different movies you can put on so so you'll just do that. Um, let me think. So Oh, so that's, I need a moment. So that's basically it for just like if you're ever on, re if you're ever having a register shift or whatever, basically that's the stuff you'll be taking care of. Oh, merchantaining. I am so sorry. I forgot about merchantaining. So for merchantaining, um, you'll basically go grab a bag with like buttons and stuff, which I don't know if they still do this because stuff changes, man. Um, grab the bag will have buttons like happy birthday, first whatever, first visit, blah blah blah. Um, and then if somebody's like, oh, do you have buttons for this? You'll just hand it out. Be like, yeah. You'll basically be answering all the questions like, where's the bathroom? Do you have this? Do you have that? Do you know who carries this? Where can I find this? What time is the 3 o'clock parade? Um, but you also get to like, um, have a item you can merchantain with. Um, used to we could wear like hats and stuff, but I don't think they allow that anymore just for like sanitary reasons for knives and stuff, I guess. But um, like maybe a lightsaber or a wand, bubble wand, just you know. Also, you can get a sign, and this is just during the day, I believe. Door greeter. Oh my gosh, I loved that spot. I would pray for that spot. Door greeting is the absolute best because when the when Festival of Fantasy comes on back, guess what? Guess who gets to watch that? You do. That is right. But make sure you are waving at the guests. But yeah, Flynn Rider, I see you up there. I can see you. Yeah, I watch for him every day. But um, that was really great. So that should be it for like the register shifts and stuff like that. Now for stocking. Um, stocking, you wear the same outfit. Now not every location is going to be like that. Stalkers do get different outfits in different locations, but since we are in like the 1800s, I guess you could say, um, women, it was not appropriate for women to wear pants, I guess. I don't know what the deal is. So we couldn't wear pants. Um, 
So we were stuck with a plaid skirt, so which made it like, but whatever. But for stocking, you would get assigned a zone, and that is where you would stay for the rest of the night. Now, um, the Emporium has so many zones because it is such a long store, and there's just so many items. But so once you get assigned to your zone, you usually have a um, have a helper or somebody else that's with you. Um, so you'll go out, like try to fill in all the holes in the walls, you know, grab stuff in the back. If you're in charge of plush, plush was my worst nightmare. I hated plush so much because once you touch the wall, like if you spent like 20 minutes on a wall making it look beautiful, as soon as you're, you're done, someone will come up and mess it all up. I kid you not. It was awful. But yeah, that's all you're basically doing for stocking. Um, I preferred stocking actually. I would try to pick up as many stocking shifts as possible um, instead of um, register shifts because all my friends basically were stalkers. Like, they just, we always got scheduled to stock, so it's like, just stick with stocking. It's what I was best at, plus register shifts bored me. I got so bored with them. Stocking, I got to like move all around and I had a lot more freedom. Let's just say that. I had a lot more freedom. So I enjoyed stocking. Now, for picking up um, in different locations and stuff, since you are merchandise, you will be able to pick up at any of the four parks. Um, I don't know about resorts because I know resorts do sell alcohol, so unless you have been alcohol trained or whatever and are over a certain age of leave, then, then you can pick it up. But if you are not trained in that, then you cannot pick it up. Now, if you are located at one of the stores that do have the alcohol training, you can pick up all the shifts you want because, I mean, you don't, you've already got the training, so you can just pick up anywhere because, you know. Um, Let's see, I never picked up at any other location just because the fear of being lost. I was so afraid I was going to get lost because my very first day at the Emporium by myself, I got lost. I asked for directions three different times and these people were very helpful. They gave me the directions. I could not follow directions because I am a lost soul. I literally get lost wherever. I still use, I have been in Florida for a year and a half now and not even a year and a half but a little over a year and I still don't know where I'm going half the time so I use my GPS every single day. I kid you not. I am the world's worst at directions. So I got lost. So I knew if I got lost at work and like go into my location there is n absolutely no way I was going to be able to pick up somewhere else. Absolutely not. So, I mean, um, my roommate Katie, she, um, I did merchandise with her at the Emporium. She is now in um, children's activities, but she still picks up merchandise, but she goes everywhere. Like, she'll pick it up wherever. So, I mean, it's easy to pick up wherever you want, um, but if you're like me and you're bad with directions, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. You might be able to do it, you might not. I'm just, I was just so afraid. I was so afraid of getting lost and being delayed, so maybe I show up an hour early. I don't know. But yeah, it's totally easy to pick up um, all four parks. If you want to make it a go, I know there are people who make it a go to try to work in every single park or work in every single store in just one park or, you know, something like that. Um, there are a lot of cute costumes in each area, so that would I know that would be fun trying to pick up as many like areas as you can just to see what kind of different costumes you can wear. So I know that would be fun. Um, oh, there is a lizard on this window. And he is just standing there. You get outside of Degum housing apartments, come to a house in a different city, and there's still lizards everywhere. Welcome to Florida, people. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else about merchandise. I think that about sums it up for merchandise, actually. Um, 
if there's if there's anything else you want to know about merchandise, um, just ask me a question, shoot me a question, I'll answer it. No big deal. Um, but yeah, any questions, just ask me. I'll let you know. But that about sums it up. I'm also probably about to make one more video after this. So if you're wondering, why are you wearing the same outfit and the same makeup in this other video? Yeah, do you wear the same thing every day? No, I do not actually. I'm just making a second video. But yeah. So that sums it up for this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Do you see this? There is one lizard right here. Sir Harold II. Um, and that right there is his father, Sir Harold the First. Guys, I was not making this up when I said Florida is just, you can't have Florida without lizards. Welcome to the lizard land.